Welcome to our brand new sunroom that we just completed this year. It's a very small room and it's very comfortable and we spend a lot of time here. And despite all the windows and the beautiful view, we find ourselves sitting on the couch kind of wishing that we could watch TV in this room, but we don't want to have a TV in this room. So I came up with a solution. About five years ago, I picked up a couple of dynamite boxes at a yard sale. I took them apart and rebuilt them as one unit, uh, stained it, put some wheels on it, and brought it in the house. And for the last few years, we've just been sort of staring at it and using it as a coffee table and a mitten hat storage box. And then the other day, it dawned on me that this is the perfect place to hide a TV. So we can watch TV when we want and then hide the TV completely when we're not watching. When I built the box, I used torsion hinges to attach the lid. These hinges uh, hold the lid in place when you're not holding the lid so the lid doesn't slam down on your fingers. These hinges are rated for 15 inch pounds per hinge. Not sure what that means, but I knew I needed stronger ones to hold up a television. So these are the hinges and the rest of the items I needed to complete the project. This pair of hinges is available at Rockler. These are rated at 60 inch pounds each. The two pack was about $54 at Rockler. This is a TV wall mount from a company called Video Secu. I got this on Amazon for 11 or $12. It's very sturdy and very thin. It's less than an inch thick. And this is a Vizio E-Series 24-inch Smart TV. Uh, I also got this on Amazon. It was about 170 bucks. And the good thing about this is it's a Smart TV. So I will be watching everything over Wi-Fi with no cable or connections or Ethernet or anything else uh, plugging in the back. The goal is to have the whole package fit neatly in the box with only a power cord exposed. First step is to place the wall mounting bracket on the inside of the lid. The uh, cross brace got in the way, so I had to make a couple of plywood blocks so that would sit flat. Then the two new torsion hinges went on. These are super easy to install. They are designed to work on three quarter inch stock. So you just sit the bottom portion of the hinge on the lip Four screws go in the bottom part of the hinge. Then you just flip the lid up and you put four screws on the upper part of each hinge. And these hinges are really solid. Next up I had to affix the bracket to the back of the TV itself. The power cord sort of juts out from the back of the TV, so I made a plywood spacer to offset the bracket from the back of the television. And you can see I also re-drilled the holes in the bracket itself so it would sit a little bit higher on the back of the TV and uh, give me clearance in case I ever do want to plug anything in the back. And then just four screws and the bracket is very sturdy. Here I'm just doing a dry fit of the wall bracket to make sure the uh, TV would clear the box when the lid closed. Then I mark where the wall bracket will go and before I put the wall bracket on I have to put the plywood spacers on the lid so that it will clear that cross brace. This is the mandatory glue and screw time lapse portion of the video. And of course, wiping up excess glue right next to the brand new couch. The next morning after the glue had dried, I attached the wall bracket to the lid. I drilled a hole in the bottom of the trunk for the power cord and I affixed a sort of safety string on the left side there to keep the lid from flopping back. I had to plug in the power cord to the TV before I hung the TV on the wall bracket. And it took a little finesse to get the 
cord through the bracket and then the TV into the bracket. But once I cleared the cable, it went right on nice and sturdy. Right now the power cord just kind of coils in the bottom of the trunk and then it goes out the hole in the bottom. Where the power cord comes out of the bottom of the trunk, I decided to permanently affix it to the underside. I plan on moving this trunk all around the house. It is on wheels and it will go from room to room. And I didn't want to be tripping over a cord and having to push it in and out of the box all the time. So I just put a couple drops of hot glue and affixed the cable to the trunk itself. Now I can just wheel the whole thing right up to any extension cord and plug it in. This project was overall pretty simple. I already had the trunk. I only had to buy the TV, the mounting bracket, and the hinges. So for about $250, I accomplished what I wanted to. It would be nice to have a slightly larger TV for the room, but that was the biggest TV I could find that would fit inside the box and still close the lid. This particular Vizio that I purchased is a smart TV, and on the included apps on the TV, I have Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Pandora, and a handful of other smaller apps. And again, this is completely over Wi-Fi. The only cable I have to worry about is the power cord. This has been my very first YouTube project video ever. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I sure had fun making it. And if you did like it, please subscribe and there'll be more to come. Thanks for watching.